Hey everyone, hope you're having an awesome day. This is Vintage Pokey Openings and thank you for tuning in to another video. We've got some awesome stuff to open today. I have a cool Porygon Black Star promo card, still sealed, that we have to open. And then I also have a Japanese E-Series Expedition Booster Pack to open. So it wasn't called Expedition in Japan, I believe it was just called the E-Series Base Set or something along those lines. But in English it was called Expedition, so you'll probably hear me refer to it as Expedition here a few times. Um, some really, really cool artwork in this set, some really, really cool hollows, really, really cool rares, so hopefully we get something neat. But like I said, the first card I have here is a cool Porygon promo. Um, you can see it's part of the Black Star promo series here. A couple of videos ago, we opened a holographic Entei Black Star promo from the third park, uh, Pokemon movie. So I always like to pick up sealed Black Star promos when I have the ability to. And I think I paid $18 in total for this with tax, shipping, and everything. If you're curious as to where this card came from, it actually was a promotional card that came with the original Pokemon Stadium game for N64. I do believe you could get the English version of it in some Pokemon League tournaments as well, but I think most of these were probably received through the Pokemon Stadium bundle. So that was once again a Nintendo 64 game, classic Pokemon game. You can see it, see it still sealed here. Um, it's not in the best shape. It's a little warped, as you can see, the card is, is a bit curved. Um, it looks like there might be some light scratching in the hollow foil, which we're gonna look at here. The seller that I purchased this from shoved it into a top loader when they sent it to me. And just for those of you who are considering shipping Pokemon cards to buyers, don't shove the cards or the packs into top loaders. If you're gonna put them in a card saver, that's one thing, but top loaders have like microfibers that can actually scratch the hollow foil as you shove them in. So I don't, I'm not saying that's what happened here, but just keep that in mind if you're about to send something in a top loader. So once again, we're gonna go ahead and crack these open today. Should be a really cool opening. Let's see what this cool Porygon card looks like. So this card's about 20 years old. I just think the holofoil on it is so cool. You can see it's got that Cosmos holofoil, which was from the base set onwards. In all honesty, the front of it looks really good. The centering is, I'm not gonna say perfect, but the centering on the front is really, really good. And if you really look close to the holofoil there, yeah, I'm trying to look at it from, not the camera lens, but just looking at it with the naked eye. You know, I really don't see any scratches on it. Some of those scratches could have been on the plastic. I think it is a really, really nice hollow foil. So the front, oh, there's a little speck. Oh, no, that was just a little speck of something. Honestly, the front looks excellent, but if you look at the back, you'll notice that the centering is off a fair amount to the right. No whitening up at the top. Really no whitening on the sides and no whitening at the bottom. To be honest, this is a pretty darn good card. And PSA is pretty forgiving about the centering in the backs of these cards. So um, it was a pretty good pickup. I think it's in really good shape for a promo card that's just been sitting in chintzy plastic for the past 20 years or so. Awesome. So we're gonna set that off to the side. And the next thing we're gonna take a look at is this Japanese base set, or otherwise known in English as Expedition Booster Pack. So this was the first set for the E-Series cards, which if you're familiar with those, those are the Pokemon cards that have the strips on the side that were used to register with the Game Boy. You can see there's the E-Reader, you'd slide the card in there, and then it would register in the Game Boy. I personally never used one of those. I did have some Expedition, cards in my collection uh, from English, but I never use them in a Game Boy or anything like that. I do believe that these packs only have five cards as opposed to the English variant had nine. So I don't know which one is the rare. I don't know. We're, we're not gonna do a card trick or anything. We're just gonna open it. Um, funny enough, I think the only Expedition pack I ever opened was a, had a holographic Mew in it. So that was a really good pull. 
All right, so, so in looking at these, you can see here that the backs are different than the Japanese cards prior to the E-Series. So they have a new back, pretty cool. Oh boy, and it looks like our rare is the first card and it's a non-holo Typhlosion, which uh, for a non-holo is probably one of the better ones in the set. So that's pretty cool. You'll notice that it has the first edition logo at the bottom right there. I don't really know. I don't think there was a non-first edition for the Japanese base set, to be honest. I could be wrong on that. You guys can let me know in the comment section, but I think they all were first edition. But regardless, I think that's a really cool card, really cool artwork. All right, so we have a Meowth. That looks like a common. Ooh, we have a Clefairy. Actually, that might be, yeah, I think that's a Clefairy. That's a common. We have a Meryl. That's also a common. And then lastly, we have a Pokeball Trainer card, and that is an uncommon. So pretty cool there. Once again, our rare pull was the Typhlosion. I, I didn't even try to weigh this pack because there's only five cards in it. I really don't know what would be considered a heavy or a light pack when there's only five cards. But once again, really, really neat pull. I, I'll have to look and see if it's worth getting this graded, but I very well may. I mean, there's really no centering issues. The surface, surface looks great. The backside looks excellent in terms of centering as well. So yeah, really cool card. That's the Japanese base set expedition. They did create, obviously they had a Japanese variant of Aquapolis and Sky Ridge, the next two E-Series sets. So maybe I'll try to get my hands on uh, one of those in the near future. Well, thanks again for tuning in guys. Do anything you can in terms of liking, commenting, sharing, supporting the channel. Anything you do would be great. I'd appreciate it. All right, have a good day.